Good morning everyone. This is Dan with Senior E-Bike and Adventures. On another ride video today, we are officially going to do the bus trike review. As I mentioned, the official review. <clears throat> Excuse me. I wanted to get her out and see what it'll do. And I want to thank Verbus for uh, sending the trike to me to review. We're going to do a 10-mile uh, ride today. That'll give me plenty of time to figure out uh, what I like about the uh, trike and some of the things I would change on the trike. So today we're going to get out and do that little review. Now the assembly of the Verabus trike is going to take you between two and three hours to uh, assemble. You pretty much have to assemble the entire rear end of the trike including of course both your tires. Um, you got to put on your um, your rotor and your uh, derailleur and all that's got to be attached to the trike. So unless you know what you're doing, you might want to find somebody that uh, can help you assemble this. Or maybe find a local bike shop that will assemble it. Some won't because it's uh, an e-trike. So keep that in mind when you're doing that. I mean, anybody can assemble it. They got the great instructions with it, with a manual to tell you exactly how to do it step by step. So it's, uh, make sure also when you go to assemble this, that you have all the proper bolts and nuts and, uh, washers that you need for that because I had to go purchase something for it. I can't remember what it was because I did not have it. It was not in the packing uh, slip. So, uh, but that was no big deal for me. That it wasn't going to make or break what I felt about the trike. Sometimes those things just get missed when you're um, shipping. Of course, I got my backpack with me, so I can carry extra tools and things with me. I kind of like the wraparound handlebars on this. It uh, makes for a comfortable... Um, handling of the bike, shall we say, since they're wrapped around and I don't have to reach very far for the handlebars. So that's a plus side of the Vera bus for sure. The trike is very quiet. There is no doubt about it. I cannot hear that motor at all. And we'll be talking about the uh, trike once I get my halfway point. We'll talk about what all it's got on it show you a little bit of drone coverage with me riding it. I'm riding along at about 15.7 mile an hour. I believe it'll do maybe 16, but that's where it's going to cut off. And you really don't want a trike to go any faster than that anyway. Now, we'll be checking out if it's got any tipping issues or flexing of the frame. Those are a couple things I'll be doing as I'm riding. So, uh, pay attention when I'm doing the sharp turns and stuff. And uh, I want to know if this thing's going to come off the ground. That's very important for uh, 
people to know, including seniors especially. And that seems to be one of the fears that seniors have with any e-bike, or especially e-trike, that it does not tip on them. That's pretty important. But as far as the handling of the trike, it does extremely well. We got just a slight rattle, I think, in the rear fender. That's kind of normal on most bikes and trikes to you adjust that uh, fender to where it's not rubbing at all. If it wasn't for getting uh, wet and muddy and all that, I wouldn't have uh, fenders on bikes or trikes. But you're going to get pretty wet when you're out riding if you don't have them. I was looking at the reviews on this and almost everything I seen was um, 4.9 and 5.0 reviews on this uh, trike. I took it out on a little maiden ride here a um, week or two ago and uh, I wanted to uh, see how it, the trike handled before I actually did a review on it. And I guess I went about uh, 15 miles on it. So I did not link any of that to my channel. And if I did, I don't remember, but it wasn't the actual review. Today we're gonna put it through its paces. We're gonna see what each pedal assist level will get you. It's got five pedal assist on this trike. So we'll try to figure out uh, what the speed is on each um, pedal assist. Now I know a lot of people want uh, trikes to go faster and there are some that are faster, but I don't recommend it as a senior. I'm 72 years old. <clears throat> And I don't recommend faster on these things because that's when you will come into some tipping issues. Come to somebody down the trail, shouldn't be on it. That ATV absolutely had no business on this bike trail. I see them all the time though. We're getting ready to come up on our two and a half mile marker and uh, it's about five and a half to where we're going. So we're almost halfway where we need to go. The trike has uh, cable pull brakes. It does not have hydro hydraulic brakes. And I'm okay with that. As long as they're good cable pull brakes and you can uh, stop the bike or trike, you really only need uh, hydraulic brakes when you're going much faster and things like that, more powerful bikes. I mean, before hydraulic brakes come out on uh, bikes and trikes, all you ever had before was uh, cable pull. Actually, uh, going a little downhill right now. We're up to about 16.5 mile an hour. But once we get on level ground here, it'll uh, bounce back to about 15 and a half where it's at right now, 15.5. That seems to be the uh, 15.5 to 16 is where it seems to want to uh, level out at. And again, I'm in pedal assist five here, so. 
But once we get up to our halfway point, that's where I'll be uh, doing the pedal assist levels, see where it likes to be at, on what speed, and uh, then we'll do a throttle only and see what it does. It's like we got some rain last night for sure. We needed it. A little cooler this morning. <clears throat> But it's supposed to get up around 90 today, so it will be heating up as the afternoon uh, picks up here. On your left. On your left. But as far as the handling, it's done extremely well. We're over three miles now, so. I have no issues of the motor cutting out or anything of that nature. It's a smooth, steady ride. And I put a link to this uh, down in the description box of the uh, trike. Quite a few people on the trail today, I noticed. Kind of unusual for a weekday. <clears throat> I'm retired now. I uh, owned a pest control company for 40 years and, well, not quite 40, but close. And uh, on your left, I finally sold the company to my son and my grandkids now work for him and the company's doing quite well. I was going to try to continue uh, staying on to consult with him a little bit and help him out in sales, but I decided it was time for me to retire. So this is what I do now since I retired is um, I'm a YouTube creator and uh, review uh, bikes and trikes for people. And I also um, do quite a bit of gardening around the house. I get stuff done like that. So yeah, but what a great hobby to have reviewing bikes for people. But I love how the uh, hand grips are on this close to the uh, display where I can reach just with my thumb to get to the uh, pedal assist levels. And this trike has also got an emergency brake on it, which some trikes that you see do not. So I'll uh, talk about all that stuff when we get to our halfway point. It's got seven gears. Um, I normally stay in seventh gear. but it does have seven gears. <clears throat> I know Verabus is uh, getting ready to come out with a um, fat tire trike. I believe the battery's down in the frame. If I, um, I think they're coming out with that in uh, August, I believe it is. 
and hopefully uh, Verabus uh, will send that trike to me so I can review it for you guys as well on my channel. But uh, they have launched the um, premiere on it basically and that they are going to release it and uh, bring it on the market in August. So that's exciting news for Verabus. Again, trikes are becoming very popular for seniors, especially when you got cargo areas uh, that you can carry stuff and like groceries or whatever. I'm still at full battery on the uh, trike. Have not come down to any bars yet, so that's good. <clears throat> And I've probably come four and a half miles here. About a mile to go, mile point two to get up to my halfway point. There's a couple turns right up here is um, where I'm going to test out the uh, tipping issue. It'll be before I get to my halfway point, but I'm going to kind of go aggressively into these turns and uh, let's see what it does. And by the way, this is a uh, 26 inch trike is what it is. Where a lot of their competitors have 24 inch trikes, which you know, it just helps when you step over it on the 24. But I kind of like uh, the 26 where I'm up off the ground a little bit. So I kind of like that a little better. Here's one little turn here. And uh, no tipping issues whatsoever. And we got a couple more on up here that I'll test it out as well. And I'm going to probably be hitting these turns at close to 13 to 15 mile an hour or so. Um, and they're pretty sharp turns up here. Right at the top of this hill is one of them. So we'll see how it does on tipping. There's absolutely no uh, uh, flexing of the frame at all. It's uh, designed very well that the frame does not flex. So this is one of the turns right here. Did very well. Um, the only thing I got is a little bit of tipping issues at about 14 mile an hour, I believe. And the sounds you heard is because I was tipping the wheels a little bit and they were rubbing the fenders. But it definitely passed the tipping uh, part of it as far as I'm concerned. But anytime I go into a term, I get just a little bit of rubbing against the fenders. Again, if it wouldn't be for the rain and the mud and everything, I wouldn't have fenders on these things. So I would like to see these trike companies uh, raise their fenders a little bit off of the um, tires a little more than they are. And this is not the only uh, trike I've seen that on. I've seen it on most of them. But I think they mount the uh, fenders too low to the tire.
We'll cross over the road here and get back on the trail up here. And uh, I don't want to ride this out on the road too much because I don't have um, my reflectors yet on this uh, trike. I, it does come with reflectors, but I do not have them on yet. So um, I don't feel as safe riding uh, on the road. So that's the only reason I'm not doing it. Does have a headlight on it. Got a very strong headlight actually. We'll go up here a little bit and then we'll cross back over, back on the trail. After we cross the road, then we'll be heading into our park that we're going to on our halfway point. But so far, the uh, trike has handled uh, extremely well. Again, a little rattle from the fenders, very normal. And just right up here on the left is where we'll uh, climb into the park. It accelerates to 15 mile an hour, 15 and a half, really quick on pedal assist. I did notice that. I kind of wish the trike had turn signals. Um, most trikes don't, by the way. Some of your uh, higher price trikes will have uh, turn signals, though. So I just put my hand out left or right, whatever I'm doing when I'm turning. Here's a little park that we go into and do reviews for. Quiet back in here, and I don't have any traffic on these. Uh, roads too much so all the geese up there just hanging out on the sidewalk I could turn left here and go downtown but we're going to go right and do some reviewing today, so. But the uh, pedal assist picks up really quickly uh, when you're in uh, pedal assist five. I have noticed that to get up to speed. It doesn't take long at all. We'll just be going through the parking lot up here and uh, there's a shelter up here or shall I say a picnic table that with a little parking lot I like to do my reviews at, so. And we'll do a little riding video on the grass and on the uh, road here, see how it handles in the grass. We'll do that as well. And I'll get my still camera out where I'll show uh, me uh, riding into the uh, camera angle and then riding away from it so we'll get that view as well then again I'll get my little drone out we'll do a little uh, footage of of me riding the dr uh, bike as well by the trike so right up in here is where we're gonna uh, stop and uh, footage of a uh, 360 of the trike and kind of an orbital mode shall we call it And then after we do the drone footage here is when I'll uh, start reviewing the bike as far as pedal assist levels, throttle, some of the stuff that it's going to do.
So um, yeah, we'll do that right up here. I always set my emergency brake right here because you need that set. And when you get on and off of any bike or trike, especially if you're a senior, I recommend going ahead and dropping that pedal assist down to zero. So you're not going to have any problems with that trike rolling on you. And this one will roll. A bike will not. A trike will. Because it has no kickstand. So you have to be careful with that when you're, uh, when you're riding these things. Just put your pedal assist down to zero. And that way you can step off of the trike. So yeah, uh, we're going to put you on hold here just a second. I'm going to do a little drone footage. And then we're going to start reviewing the bike. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we are now going to do a um, review of the Verabus on the pedal assist levels. So we're going to start out here, and we're going to put it down into pedal assist 1. And we're going to see what speed that takes us to. So, yeah, here we are. Pedal assist one is going to get you to about 8.3 mile per hour. So uh, that's about right for pedal assist one. Let's go up to pedal assist two. I just barely hit the throttle to get me going. Now let's go see what pedal assist two will do. Probably going to have to turn around in the parking lot here to get that. Pedal assist 2 seems to max out about 9.5 mile an hour. And let's go up to pedal assist 3. Pedal assist 3 seems to get you about 11 mile an hour. We'll turn around here and we'll do what pedal assist 4 will do. We're now pedal assist 4. Gonna have to turn in the parking lot here a little bit. See where pedal assist 4 is going to get us. Pedal assist 4 is going to be right about 13.2 mile per hour. Now we'll do pedal assist five. Then we'll do a throttle only. So let's do a pedal assist uh, five right here. And of course, pedal assist five is gonna get you 15.5 uh, mile an hour, or right at 16 is going to be pedal assist five. So uh, there are your pedal assist levels. Now we are going to do uh, throttle only. And uh, let's see what it'll do. So uh, we're in, uh, again doing throttle only, no pedaling. Again, that'll get you up to about 15.5 mile per hour. So there are your pedal assist levels. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna get over here in the shade and we're gonna get off and talk about this bike, or trike. Don't wanna get a reflection from the sun, so. Let me tell you what this thing has uh, got on it and then let me tell you the really exciting news about this thing. We're going to get it up here um, away from people and stuff so I can review this. A lot of people out today walking and people with strollers, and, but that's all right. Hi, my name's Keelan. We're going 
I'm going to probably ride across the grass one more time so I can uh, get up into that parking lot. So, uh, yeah, we're going to cut through right here. Show you guys, uh, again, how it handles in grass. We're doing pretty well, actually, going up a little hill and everything else right here. I much know all this by um, memory now, so... All right, let's talk about it. This is the Verabus trike. This is a 26-inch trike. Um, I believe that the tires are 26 by 1.95, I believe is what they are. It has got a 350-watt front hub motor on it, and it's got a 36-volt, I think it's a 13-amp-hour battery, sits behind the seat post, and all you have to do is lift this up in order to uh, get the battery out, or you can charge it right on the trike. So that's kind of a neat little feature. And then it also has pedal assist one through five right here. Five is your highest, of course, and I did your pedal assist levels as far as riding and let you know what all those were. And your information center here will tell you um, how many miles you've come so far, your average speed, things of that nature. So uh, that's on your uh, display there. It's also got these uh, wraparound handlebars right here, which is definitely different. I really like that because I don't have to, uh, I don't have to uh, reach very far in order to get to the uh, up and down pedal assist levels. And it has also got the um, main chain back here to your derailleur. It's got seven speed Shimano shifter on it, which is down here. And then your drive chain is right here in the middle. And it's also uh, has um, regular uh, cable pull brakes on it. Now, uh, there's one thing I had to do because I was missing a bolt. So when I actually got this trike in the first time, they had a bolt missing to my derailleur up here. Right there is the screw that was missing. So I suggest, Verabus, that you actually put extra bolts in these shipping in the manufacturing phase so when you ship this somebody's not going to run out of uh, bolts when they go to put this together. That's pretty important because you get somebody that's my age and older and I'm 72 they're having a difficult time enough assembling anything including a trike and then you miss a bolt on that what if they don't drive? What if they can't get to a parts store or a bike shop? That's not going to be very cool for that to happen. So I highly suggest that Verabus looks into doing that uh, when they ship these to make sure people's got the right bolts and enough bolts. I do have to put the reflectors right here. I'll get those on the trike. It does have suspension in the front, but it's, it's, it's a uh, suspension fork. It does not have loads, loadouts where you can lock them out and adjust those. So, but it does have front suspension. Other than that, the wire management's done pretty good, as you can see. I love the emergency brake on this. You just pull it in, set it. That shuts off the motor. It cannot go anywhere. It's not going to go anywhere. Then to release it, you just pull the handle again. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about the uh, Verabus trike. The great news, I think, about this trike right now, and I think I looked at it this morning, I think this trike right now is priced at $749 plus tax. Folks, that is a great buy on this trike. I'll put a link for you down in the subscription box, but if you're going to look at a trike, and, and it's a budget trike for sure, look at all the cargo space it has in the back. You want to go grocery shopping, go to the pharmacy, whatever, this is going to be your little trike to do it. This will probably get a range between 20 and 30 miles. I'm not 100% sure yet. I have not done a full range test on it yet, but it should get between 20 and 30 miles. And if you're down in the pedal assist one or two, you're even going to get more. You're probably going to get 40 miles out of a charge on this. One other thing I did not mention, this looks like this has got 140 millimeter rotors. Um, 
a lot of them got 160s to 180s, but with this small of a uh, trike um, and being cable pull, that's all they have is the, I think, 140 millimeter rotors on there. I want to thank you guys for uh, watching this video and sharing like and putting comments down in the comment section. And uh, again, I'll put the link for the uh, bear bus for you down there. And I thank you guys. If you really want a quality, quality trike, look into this one. Again, Dan with Senior E-Biking Adventures. Share, like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and I will see you guys on the next adventure. Hello guys, I would like to do a final assessment of what I think about the Verabus 26 inch trike. I have been on a uh, 12 mile ride today and um, yeah, I had no problems whatsoever. No electrical problems, no mechanical issues. I had a uh, very comfortable ride. Even the stock seat on this is not bad. Um, again, it uh, folds up where you need to take the battery out. You can do that. I like that a lot. But yeah, as far as overall of the performance of the trike, I had absolutely zero issues. So I want to thank Barabus for building a very good quality bike. And let me tell you the best point about this trike, the price point. Right now, this trike is priced at $749 and I think $49 right now. Folks, if you are looking to get yourself a trike, go down to my description box. I'll have a link to Verabus. I may have a discount code, but I'm still waiting for them to get back with me so you can maybe save some more money on this thing. But I'm going to tell you the design of this thing, the trike itself, I love the handlebars, the way they wrap around, where I don't have to reach very far to get to anything, including the 
cockpit area here where your uh, display is. And uh, one thing I did put on is the cup holder. It does not come with a uh, trike, but everything else comes standard on this trike. So yeah, I wanna let you guys know that it's a very good buy for this thing. I have reviewed other trikes along the lines of this, and I think the Verabus is probably right at the top, especially at the price point that it's at. So anyway, jump on this thing, get this trike, get out and ride it. You're gonna love it enjoying nature. You're gonna love it to get out and, and um, socialize with some people. And from, again, the standpoint of the trike itself, very durable and it's very dependable as well. So anyway, share, like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and I will see you guys on the next riding adventure.